everyone. What I want to do today is I want to go over a detailed explanation of what I'm searching for when I'm looking at my depth finder, when I'm looking for new areas. Unfortunately, Chad and I did not have a chance to go out fishing this last weekend. So to make up for a video, I wanted to get into this and show you exactly what I'm looking for, how I'm looking for it, and what it looks like on the depth finder. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see on this first photograph, you'll see where the little humps are, are going along on this, on this photograph. And a lot of people mistake these for rocks and things like that, that it has good structure down below. But what that actually is, is if you look at the, the photo on the left, that's the side imaging. And you can see where it it's, looks like rolling hills of sand. And that's exactly what it is. What's happening is it, it's a prop wash from the big ships. So that's actually on a part of the section of the shipping channel that actually has a, a, like a, a, a turn in it. So when those ships are turning, it's pushing that sand a different way. And it's amazing, you wouldn't think it would push sand 48 feet down, but those, those boats draft so much water is that it's kicking up that sand like we would do in you know, three and four feet of water. So when you're looking at your depth finder and you see that little rolling pattern like that, really don't pay attention to that because I have yet to find structure. There's a couple of places in the bay that will have structure like that that will show up, but a majority of it is, is not like this. It, it's just when it's rolling like that, just don't really pay attention to it. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, here you can see where there's a lot of rocks right in this section. And you can see how defined they are on the, on the side imaging sonar. So when I'm going along and if I find something like this, even if it's a small area, I'm going to stop and take a look at it and see what I can find. Usually drop a bait down on it and, and see if we catch any fish. But this is pretty defined. So when you're going along and you see something like this, definitely stop and take a look because that's, that's a lot of good structure right there. And in this one, this is the side imaging, and this shows us when we're actually sitting still and, and we're fishing this particular area. And you can see, I call them styrations, but you can name them what you want. But on both sides of the boat, we have rock. Those are actually rocks down there. On that, so that side imaging is showing you that it's, that it's rocks. But if you see that really white line in the center and the little bit whitish uh, area just to the right of that, that's actually very hard bottom. So on my side imaging, that's what the hard bottom looks like. Now on this slide, you can see where those rocks are on the down imaging. They don't pick them up too much. And then on the, on the regular sonar, you can see how, how the rocks are picked up and how, see how they don't have a rolling pattern to them. They're more like a hump and then a long extended, and then it goes back down again. So that is what you're definitely looking for on your, on your regular sonar. You don't want the rolling humps. You want the ones that hump up and go for a distance and then come back down again. Now this is actually on my Simrad and this is showing you hard bottom. You can see how defined it is and how hard that bottom is where the red section is. And you can see fish on the bottom and just above the bottom. So when I'm fishing an area like this, I'm definitely looking for hard bottom like this, and this is what it looks like on my Simrad. So if you have a Simrad or something similar, this is what it's going to look like. Now on my Humminbird, it actually looks like it's, it, if it's hard, it's really red, and if it's a soft bottom, it's actually yellowish. So I can determine even better on my Humminbird than I can on my Simrad on really hard bottom. Now this is the last photo that I wanted to show you. This was fishing in about the same area. But this was actually, we were chumming on a, on a slack tide, and you can see the fish coming off the bottom. Very little times do I see the fish like this on the screen. It's usually after we start chumming and we get them up in the water column. You can see they're about 10 feet off the bottom. So this, this was a day we were chumming a lot, and we were actually catching a bunch of grouper. So that's my explanation of... Uh, what I'm looking for on, on my side imaging, on my sonar, things like that. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I can, if I can answer them, I will. If I can't, I'll let you know. But you know, every, every system is different. 
but this will kind of give you an idea of what to look for when you're going out there. So I hope you get out this next weekend and catch some fish. I know Chad and I will be out there. So good luck and we'll talk to you soon.